Welcome back, Celebrity Family Feud. Let's meet our next two families from Stranger Things. It's Gaten, Matarazzo, and family playing for CCD Smiles. And we've got dance prodigy, Maddie Ziegler, pop star Kenzie Ziegler, and family playing for my friend's place. You want to play some feud? Let's get it on. Give me Gaten. Give me Maddie. Okay, y'all done worked it out. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all ready? All right, let's go. We got top seven answers on the board. Name a fruit a teenager might practice the art of kissing on. A peach? A peach. <laughs> Gaten? An apple? An apple. Pass or play? We we'll play it. We're gonna play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. All right, great. Gaten, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. That's the number one answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> now the, the little young lady pulled up Peach. You just fired out the number one apple. You know something about that? <laughs> just checking. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah, just talking about what's over there. All right. Where about what's over there? Come on, Gaten, get your mind right, baby. <laughs> All right, Dad, here we go. Name a fruit a teenager might practice the art of kissing on. Strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> Big Daddy Swag. <laughs> Name a fruit a teenager might practice the art of kissing on. A lemon. You gotta puck her up. Uh -huh. You gotta puck her up. Yeah, you gotta yeah. puck, I got you. You gotta puck her up. Unlimited. Yeah. 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 I like that. Sabrina, name a fruit a teenager uh, might practice the art of kissing on. How about an orange? An orange. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's it. All right. Hey, Vicky. Hi. Name a fruit a teenager might practice the art of kissing on. A cantaloupe? In the world? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I don't know. It's big. It's round. I don't know. All right, little Vicky. Do, let's do some cantaloupe kissing. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Gaten. Only hey, one strike, man. Name a fruit a teenager might practice all the kissing on. Steve. <laughs> Forgive me. No, no. Go ahead. I'm going to say banana. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. All right, Nate. <laughs> Come on! Oh, it had to be said. Yeah. All right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you something. Yes, sir. Gaten, let me tell you something. All right. <laughs> I'm scared. Boy. <laughs> I sure hope that's up there. I do too. <laughs> I'm praying. Cause I'm so praying. It's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Banana! Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Oh. 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 Dad, we got one answer left. You can clear the board. This is your chance to make up for that strawberry. <laughs> Name a fruit a teenager might practice the art of kissing on. Um, uh, I can't think of anything else. Pineapple. Oh. 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 All right, all right, no, it's good. It's good. No, it's good. It was good. There's not much left. I'm running out of food. There's, there's, there's not much left, Steve. <laughs> there's not, there's much, not left. much left. Leave it for Dad. Thank you. Where on a pineapple <laughs> would you want to put your tongue? <laughs> That little prickly hard pineapple. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. There's not much left. We got one answer left. We got to be careful. We got to be careful because you got two strikes. The Ziggler, Cassoni family can steal. Grapefruit. <laughs> Big Daddy Swag say grapefruit. <laughs> Mango! 
Ladies, here's your chance. Name a fruit a teenager might practice all the kissing on. Mango? Mango. Mango, mango, mango. Mango. <laughs> mango, mango, mango. <laughs> mango! <laughs> Number seven. Oh. All right, everybody, let's move on to question two. Give me Gaten. Give me Kinsey. <laughs> Top six answers on the board. This is a fill in the blank and be specific. In a new Thanksgiving horror movie, a psychotic turkey is on the loose and blanking people. Clucking. Clucking. <laughs> Clucking. <laughs> okay. Gobbling. Gobbling. Gobble. Gobbling. Yeah. Gobbling. Yeah. 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 We're gonna yeah. play. Yeah. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> Fill in the blank and be specific. In a new Thanksgiving horror movie, a psychotic turkey's on the loose. He's, he's blanking people. Jumping. What? <laughs> Jumping! Uh... I got it. Renee, fill in the blank and be specific. In the new Thanksgiving horror movie, a psychotic turkey's on the loose and he's blanking people. Carving. Oh! oh. Hey, hey, hey. Carving! Carving. Yeah. Yeah. Charlize, wonderful. Right. Fill in the blank and be specific. In a new Thanksgiving horror movie, a psychotic turkey's on the loose and blanking people. Stuffing. Yes! <laughs> Stuffing! <laughs> nah, nah, we're playing the game now. Hey, Maddie, fill in the blank, be specific. New Thanksgiving horror movie's out. Psychotic turkey's on the loose and he's blanking people. Scratching? Scratching! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't see. Oh, right, we got about two it. strikes um, now. We gotta be careful. Say what I said. The Matarazzo family can steal. Cooking people? Cooking oh, people. Yeah! Cooking! Yeah! 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 That was so good, guys. Kizzy, you're coming through. Yeah, She's girl. Smart. All right, Melissa, here we go. Two strikes, gotta be careful. The Matarazzo family can steal. New Thanksgiving horror movies out. Psychotic turkey on the loose and he's blanking people. Plucking? What? Plucking. Plucking, like there's feathers. Yeah, plucking. That's very different. She said, what? Plucking! <laughs> oh. All right, here's your chance, guys. Fill in the blank and be specific. In a new Thanksgiving horror movie, psychotic turkeys on the loose and blanking people. They say hunting people. Hunting yeah, people. Go, hunting! Come on. Number two. Pecking. Pecking. We'll be back. We're playing Celebrity Family Feud. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. The Matarazzo Family 159. Ziggler, the Sony Family, not on the board. Give me Gaten. Give me Melissa. <laughs> All right, guys, point values are double. We got the top six answers on the board. Here we go. Name something that would land on a ball guy's head that might slide right off. Bird poop. Bird poop.
All right, Renee, name something that will land on the ball guy's head might slide right off. I'm gonna say a raindrop. A raindrop. <laughs> Raindrops. Yes! yes! <laughs> Charlize, name something that will land on the ball guy's head might slide right off. A leaf. A leaf. Batty, name something that would land on a ball guy's head that might slide right off. Uh, dust. Dust. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it sticks right up there. <laughs> dust. <laughs> All right, Kenzie, only one strike. Name something that would land on a ball guy's head that might slide right off. Hair gel? Yes. Hair gel. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I, why, oops. why would he put hair gel? Not just like, I don't know. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good answer. Ha I think so. Hair gel. <laughs> oh. All right, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful. Matarazzo family can steal. No, mom, come on. Shampoo. It's not gonna land on her. Shampoo. Uh. All right, guys, name something that would land on a ball guy's head that might slide right <laughs> I off. Don't, what I say? I, I guess, I, a hat? A hat? Yeah. Have, have, have hats ever slid off your head? Huh? Have hats ever slid off your head? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> But that doesn't mean it's not up there. You know, I, I don't know. But I like the way you referenced me. Yeah. I, I do like that. that was... Yeah, with, with your little head full of damn hair. <laughs> Mr. Curls. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hat! <laughs> Number five. Four. Over. I said it. <laughs> Number two. Friday. Hey, let's go to the next question. Give me Sabrina. Give me Renee. Thank you again. All right, ladies. Point values are triple. Top four answers on the board. Here we go. Name the wrong place to be, cracking jokes. Funeral. A funeral. No, that's a really good one. <laughs> funeral. Great, great, great. All right, baby. Come on, baby. Good All right, Vicky. Name the wrong place to be, cracking jokes. A wedding? That's actually a good one. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wedding. Oh. Name the wrong place to be cracking jokes. Say church. Church. There he yeah. is. Big Gaten. Name the wrong place to be cracking jokes. Hospital. <laughs> Y'all don't know how to live. I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Oh Hospital. Oh oh. Come on, Dave. Come on. We got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the other family can steal and win the game. Police station. That's the only place ain't a damn thing funny. <laughs> Police station. Uh, All right, ladies, we got it. We got here it. we go. We've got two available answers. If it's there, your family steals. <laughs> your family wins the game. If it's not there, the other family wins the game. This is it. Name the wrong place to be cracking jokes. Court? Yes! <laughs> No, 
Number three. I need two people. I need two people to play Fast Money. All right, let's go. I got the two queens out of the family. I want to say thanks for playing to the other family. We're going to make a donation to that charity for being good sport. We'll be right back. We're going to play Fast Money right after this. You ready? I'm ready. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 men, if you had to wear a robe every day, what would you wear under it? Nothing. How long do you have to know someone before you can call it love? Six months. Name something you ride that makes you dizzy. Roller coaster. Uh, Tell me something you know about kangaroos. They jump. What do you need to play a game of volleyball? A ball. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. We asked 100 men if you had to wear a robe every day, what would you wear under it? You said nothing. Survey said. Yeah! How long you have to know someone before you can call it love? You said six months. Survey said. Yeah! Name something you ride that makes you dizzy. You said. Roller coaster. Survey said. Tell me something you know about kangaroos. You said, oh, they jump. Survey said, <laughs> pretty good. Tell me what you need to play a game of volleyball. You said, you need the ball. Survey said, wow. Wow, that's really good. All You. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, you need 26 points. Okay. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes. All right. Let's remind everybody Melissa's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. All right. Come on, Renee. We can do it. Let's go. Yes. We asked 100 men, if you had to wear a robe every day, what would you wear under it? Nothing. Uh -huh. Try again. Uh, boxers. How long do you have to know someone before you can call it love? Um, two months. Name something you ride that makes you dizzy. A uh, roller coaster. Try uh -huh. again. Um, uh, uh, tilt a whirl. Tell me something you know about kangaroos. That they keep their babies in their pocket. Okay. What do you need to play a game of volleyball? A net. Wow. <laughs> I think we All got right, it. <laughs> We need 26 points. Let's see. We ask 100 men, if you had to wear a robe every day, what would you wear under it? You said, boxers. Survey said, oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, How long do you have to know someone before you call it love? One year? What makes you dizzy? Roller coaster. Tell me something you know about kangaroos that have pouches, playing volleyball, a net. <laughs> well, that's $25,000 for my friend's place. I would like to thank Gayton, Maddie, Kenzie, and their families for coming on Celebrity Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.